leadership is absolutely essential to bringing about effective development and that this is relevant across all sectors, contexts and regions. So if you're looking at failed states, for example, the reason why states have been failing is a failure of leadership. If you look at why a rural road may have been built but has not served the community in the way that it should have, it's often a problem of leadership. There might be technical issues why that's happened, but ultimately the politics and the leadership uh, need to come into play. We need to be very, very clear about the, the conceptual framework of leadership. Uh, we're, we're very much interested in not leaders as individual leaders. It is the nature of leadership that is fundamental to the security, the stability, the economic growth, the social inclusion, the development trajectory of these countries. And leadership isn't about this individual great woman or man view of history, but it's about the political process. It's about how you mobilise resources and mobilise people and solve collective action problems. And it's about this process of establishing consensus, and whether it's about uh, rural roads, traffic plans, whether it's about rolling out uh, a new national plan or something in between. So if we were to boil politics down to one thing, the currency of politics is power. That's the thing that makes politics work. And power is something that's very much underplayed in other views of politics. Politics is everywhere, whether it's in the US, whether it's in Papua New Guinea, whether it's in Australia or Singapore, and whether it's in government or whether it's in families or organizations. The one thing that, that always strikes me when I hear particularly debates coming from aid agencies about what politics is and how it affects development programming is it's always seen as a problem, something that has to be overcome, something that needs to be dealt with, that, that it's a, a risk to programs and so on, as opposed to being something that just all states and societies have. We all have politics. In a sense, politics isn't something that you can write off as a risk or something that you, you just need to find the political will, but it's part of the process that you need to understand. We build on the political economy analysis tools that are very popular out there, and actually, actually the UNDP one, for what it's worth, is probably the best I've seen. <laughs> I think it's particularly good. But one thing that's often missing from these is a more subtle and disaggregated notion of power. But what we want to be able to do is to provide a framework that allows practitioners, policymakers, whoever's interested in understanding how change can happen, how actors can support the development of leadership and the development of coalitions within this process.